Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, friends. It's Debsy and place to be. It's Debsy. That's me, Debsy. Okay, everybody. So it's Friday. Yay! It's Friday, and it's gonna be hot as balls this weekend. It is gonna be hot as balls this weekend. So stay cool. Um, but also, Friday means it is time for me to discuss my favorite thing, one of my favorite things of life, and that is the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna say right off the bat, the target this season is going to be Sutton. The target is going to be Sutton because um, we once again, they once again continued to talk about what she had said on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen about her inviting um, Harry Hamlin and Lisa Rinna to the Elton John um, celebrity or Elton John charity, like the, the gala, the dinner. And, you know, she paid for a table and Rinna and Hamlin or uh, Rinna and her husband are like, no. I, we said we were not invited and we said thank you and blah, 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 this and that. So they're coming after her from that and then they're coming after her, they're gonna come after her because of what she said about um, Dory. To refresh your memory, last week, Kyle had started talking about Dorit's break-in and how she was held at gunpoint. And then Sutton says, oh, I've been putting fires out of my own. and." And um, uh, this designer is caught up in, in, is caught up at the border and they won't let him in, customs won't let him in, and blah, 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 and this and that. And it was, it was, I, I have to tell you, I loved Sutton last year, not feeling her this year. I don't know what is up with her. I don't know if she's like, I don't know. She's claiming that she's an empath, but she's making, I don't know, some of the, some of her looks are not good on her this year. Um, and she, and this, this week at the end of the episode, she doubled down on her statement about Dorit when she said, you know, I have a lot of things going on too and about French designer and oh, I'm sorry, I guess I, you know, she said something like, um, oh, why well, I, I didn't have a gun held. I'm sorry. I didn't have a gun held to my head or something like that. Really insensitive. So I don't know what is going on with her, but she had said that um, at one point last night when she was when she was talking to Kyle, she had said that um, that she doesn't remember saying, "Oh, that doesn't sound like me." And then and then she had said she maybe she might have said that because of her reaction to guns. She had said that her family was robbed when she was fourteen. And on the first episode of this this season, she did mention that her father had um, committed suicide. He shot himself, I think it was like two days before Christmas or something like that. So that, I mean, it's understandable that you would not feel great around guns, but that's a little insensitive. I mean, I love Sutton, I loved her last year, but this year, no, she's not doing, she's not doing it for me. Um, speaking of Dorit, Dorit, we found out some real interesting information about her. Um, we found out that the reason why she was able to stay so calm under pressure during the robbery and the break-in was because her father was a paratrooper in, was he a paratrooper? Yeah, he was a paratrooper in the Israeli army, so he taught her, listen, if you if you just stay calm, people are going to just leave you alone. So, and that's probably what the main reason as to why she escaped, her and her children escaped unharmed and alive. Um, there was a little back-to-back -back lunch action going on. We had Lisa Rinna, ugh, I cannot say her name without making a face. So we had Rinna and Kyle, um, having lunch, and of course, what did they have to bring up? They had to bring up Sutton and what she had said on Watch What Happens Live. Turns out that at the same time, I don't know if it was at the same time, but meanwhile, in another scene, I'm gonna say scene because 
I don't, I think it's, I think it's staged. Um, Crystal and Sutton are having a little cake break at a place called Lady M. Now Lady M is where Sutton had gotten the cake from last year. Like when they were in La Quinta at Kyle's place in La Quinta, she had brought in what was called a pancake cake. And I was like, why is a pancake cake? Well, it's a crepe cake. Or she says crepe because she's a Francophile. Um, it's a crepe cake. It's a cake with a whole bunch of crepes, layers of crepes, um, which they showed it. Um, this looked real good. So I might have to try and find um, a crepe cake from Lady M. I'm sure I'm probably gonna have to take out money from my 401k, but I'm gonna get that crepe cake and I'm gonna eat it here and I'm gonna try it right here for you guys. So that aside, they were talking about the same thing. They were talking about, you know, how maybe she shouldn't have said that and this and that. And Rinna then says that Harry Hamlin actually sent Sutton a text message saying like, listen, uh-uh, we have been invited to, we have been invited to this charity event by Elton um, several years. So listen, no, that's not right. And I guess Sutton did not respond back. So um, the rest of the night was spent on Harry Hamlin's 70th birthday party. And before the 70th birthday party, I thought this was interesting. They showed some of the um, housewives getting ready with their glam squads. Well, Mikey from last year, or from a, from a couple years ago, who was who has always been in um, Erica Jane's Glamour Squad, I really thought he was gonna be gone once the money was gone, but he's still there, which is surprising. Okay, good for you. I mean, she's wearing Norma Kamali with the kind of money she has. So there's that. Um, yeah, so uh, Dorit and PK, Dorit and PK, Mauricio and Kyle, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. Tell me who you think is the hottest housewives, the hottest housewives husband. And then I'll say you're wrong because it's Mauricio. Mm, Mauricio is fine. So the, the, that foursome is on their way over to celebrate Harry Hamlin's 70th when Kyle brings up you know, what happened with Sutton on Watch What Happens Live and also then tells PK and Dorit what she had said, the, the comment that she made um, in regards to, you know, the break-in and how she has all these problems with like this fringe designer. PK did not seem too happy. So they get there and um, this is when we are introduced to the newest housewife, Diana Jenkins. Diana Jenkins, I'm thinking when she shit, I'm thinking when she farts, like money doubloons just pop on out. She is, I'm gonna tell you, she's, she is a one rich bitch. And some of it comes from her divorce from a finance banker, but a lot of it I think comes from just her working hard. Yeah, she uh, she owns a um, functional drink company. I don't know what functional means. And she also has a record label. She is real rich. She was actually with Kim Kardashian in Paris when Kim was robbed and was like, she was like, I don't feel safe and I'm gonna get out of here. She's pretty rich. So we met her, we met her fiance. Her fiance is like 15 years younger than her, Asher. Not difficult on the eyes. What else? Oh, so after that, then the guys go to one side, the girls go to the other side, and that's when the that's when all of the all of this starts. So Sutton offers an apology to, to Rinna. Rinna says, Oh, well, thank you, but um, let me tell you what I was told. I was told that you canceled the table, so you didn't really even buy a table. 
And Garcelle was like, listen, Sutton, you have, you have receipts. You paid for it, show them. Didn't she pull out her purse and was like, yeah, I got them. She pulled out her, she pulled out that in her readers and was like, here we go. So then Rena, so then Rena says, well, um, I have, let me see if this is true. Um, let me see if this is true because Diana is a, uh, Diana is a sponsor of this event. And, and she says, oh yes, I am. I've, I'm great friends with Elton and her husband and his husband. And so now we're like, wait a minute. Did um, obviously Diana Jenkins was invited to this because she's, she's a full-time, um, a full-time housewife now. But I mean, did Lisa, was Lisa Rita pushing her to come to this party because she could have, she could have Diane Jenkins on her side. And from the previews, it does not look like, I don't know that it looks like that Sutton and Diana are going to get along. So, and then after that, then there was this whole, let's drop it. Let's just drop it. Let's make up. Oh, and Rena says, um, oh yeah, I, yeah, let's make up and this and that. And Sutton, oh, I adore you. Uh -uh, I am buying none of it. I thought it was all fake. I thought it was all fake. And we'll see. And I know it's all fake because on Twitter, no, not on Twitter. Yeah. No, because on Instagram, and I know it's all fake because on Instagram, what's Lisa Renna? Lisa Renna is talking it up all again. So I don't know. Lisa Rinna is either her storyline the whole year is going to be either that or it's just going to be her stirring the pot. Because she is going to stir the pot with Kathy Hilton. Kathy Hilton has yet to be on, so we'll see. Um, all this makes me want to get a little like Sutton. I'm going to have to roll out, my, roll out my skin. If you know, if you watch the show, then you know. Oh, i got to roll out my skin. Okay, so that's it. Oh, also, whenever, whenever Rena had brought up the whole thing of she canceled um, Sutton, she canceled the table. Sutton was like, "Slander, you better watch it. Slander, you better watch it." Doesn't Erica Jane go slander? That's an interesting word. Slender. That's interesting. Like she's some creepy ass robot. Girl, you ain't gonna sue nobody. You don't have a pistol pot. You don't have a pistol pot. You don't have a pot to piss in. But you got that Norma Kamali dress. So, okay. So that's it. That is the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I hope everybody enjoyed it. If you watched it, please let me know in the comments. What was your favorite part? Why is Sutton being such a jackal? So there's that. Everybody, if you have not, if nobody has told you yet, I love you. You're loved, seen, and heard. Please make sure you put love, kindness, compassion, acceptance, hope, and positivity out there. We all need it. My mother's off the camera. She does not want to be seen, but she says, everybody have a great weekend, right? She's waving. Okay. Everybody have a great day. Bye, guys.